date for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems. Try to win the fight into a closer distance. Oh, collar tie. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked. Counter hook is good. Big ball for land. Now he gets back in range. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land this strike. Right hook attempts. That's a miss. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the pick up. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile. If they can do these takedowns in so many ways, you saw it on full display right there with that trip. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Whip his hip into that kick. He gets to the spot, the tie pull. Then he starts to let the knees fly. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Got clip with the right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice 
punch lands over the top. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Tries to mix in a takedown here. accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, that's a nice strike. Back and forth we go! Nicely done to the body. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Single collar tie there. Just misses there with the left. See, that is how you scramble, folks. Nice punch by Short. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just out of range with the big right hand. Single collar tie now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. It's a good right hand right there. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots nice coming man. this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. That's it. Five oh, minutes in the books. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even, as we saw in round number one. Effective strike there by Shore. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He loaded up on that right hand, too. What a punch. Big leg kick land. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Boy, Todd Plump. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just over three minutes to go. And they separate. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Powerful leg kick lands. 
about the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good boys. Oh, nice kick to the head. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person? to dictate the pressure. Who's gonna control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Looking to land the right just out of risk. Good body shot. Oh, oh nice elbows. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. What a punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, nice jab there by Choi. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Big kick lands. Slips. Round three next. All right, you're doing great. Okay, one more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch, Lance. Nice head kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Big head kick land. Back and forth we go. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Nice straight punch. Choi's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Takedown attempt is good. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Back to his feet. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these guys. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck 
yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, man. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big kick. Well, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. It's tight to behold. All right, he engages in a single oh, Master oh. transition. Nice scramble. Straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shit in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Chor. All right, single collar tie now. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Take him down, cut, take him down, cut. Over and over, securing these takedowns. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And they separate. Nice. Nice. There, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just huh. right punches there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Liver kick. Blocks the shot. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedown, he feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up for top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secured takedowns, they're winning. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That one's still good. Nice strike. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. comes the separation now. Nice body kick. Single collar tie now. 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Blocks the strike. Misses with the right hand. And they separate. Leg they kick. continue to exchange. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks. But this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Choi going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Good punch land. Got the single collar tie. He's driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Choi gets the tie clinch here. You gotta check these low leg kicks. What a body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice loop and punch. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. 30 seconds to go in this one. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, connects with the one, two. Joy going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active when you feel really land a combination there on the side. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. And they separate. Nice kick. 
lands with the lead right. Straight punch lands. Just out of range with that right hand. Lance. Some nice back and forth action here. about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Punch over the top. Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Why he engages in a single collar tie here. Great punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clear. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Slips the punch nicely there. Single collar tie now. Beautiful punch. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Chor. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, and he's back up again. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of guessing. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight, but their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late in both asking the question, how do I get this done? Oh, nice right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and He's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground on top.
The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Duhon Chong. Well, he did not get the finish.